Hey everybody, this is round 8 of Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu. Things are looking really pretty good. I've got only one more gate left to close, and that is hopefully going to, well, it is Kingsport, and hopefully, I mean, I've got three Kingsport cards in the, occult, the Occultist's deck, and one in the Hunter's deck. They need to get those cards together so that someone can go close, and they need one more clue, because they need five, not four. But otherwise, everything's looking good. I, the, the management of cultists is, is very effective in this game. The, this is a pretty good combination. Normally, cultists start to cluster together, and they start summoning elder gods, and the elder gods are making the thing harder. But between the two of them, they've been doing a great job at managing cultists. Now that the hunter is insane, however, I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know if that's going to continue. So once again, I'm in this situation of kind of like, I've got these turns to spend, these actions to spend, and what I really need is, is more clues. I need, more, I need one more Kingsport clue. So I'm thinking that probably the smart thing to do would be to get the hunter down to Dunwich into this square so that she could so, so that she can trade cards eventually so i think that's what i'll do so the hunter i'm thinking is going to go maybe one two three four yeah that's i think that's the right way to go so one she's going to have to roll a sanity die for reasons Two, take a bus to Dunwich, which she can. Three, four. Okay, so she, because she moved into a square without a cultist right here, she needs to roll a sanity die. And on any sanity, if, if it comes up as a sanity loss, or what would normally be a sanity loss, which it just did, then a cultist gets added to that square. So the hunter is <laughs> very much doing the exact opposite of her stated goal in life, which is to get rid of cultists and shogoths. And instead, she is leaving a trail of cultists everywhere she's been. It's awkward, but luckily for her, there was a cultist in every square but one, so it didn't do too much damage. And now she's co-located with the occultist hopefully she's about to draw a kingsport card no oh dear oh and a kingsport card all right perfect that makes this hurt less all right so roll a sanity die um sure she can do that i think i think i i will just judge that if she rolls for sanity loss, I'll do basically the same thing. I'll just add another cultist. She got nothing, so n nothing, nothing happens. Awakening, reveal the next old one. This is where it gets scary. All right. This is Ithaqua. To walk out of a location with two or more cultists, a player must first defeat a cultist. Okay, so that's going to eat up our turns. And I guess worse yet, that also means that we're at a summoning rate of three. So instead of just adding, of drawing two summoning cards and adding two cultists to the board, draw three at the end of every turn. Now a Shogoth appears, okay, so I have to draw a card from the bottom of the uh, summoning deck and add a Shogoth to the hospital. That's not the worst place for it to be. And then what else happens during an evil stirs phase? Oh yeah. Shuffle the summoning deck and put it on the top of the summoning deck. Or, or the discard pile, put it on top of the deck. Alright. This hasn't happened in a while, as you can see. This was a pretty, pretty big discard pile. Um, so that's kind of interesting all right so that's my new summoning deck and 
I've got all the king support cards that I need, and I'm co-located with the one person who can close the location. So that's very, very exciting. All right, now it is that one person's turn. Oops, one person's turn. So for first action, I'm going to take a king support card from my friend. Second action, take the other king support card from my friend. Now, if I had another king support card, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. So that's second action. So now for the third action and the fourth action, I'm just one one location away from closing the, the location, and I can't get there. That's so annoying. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do that. So I just spent two actions to get the king support. She wants to move here, but there's a new rule on the board that says to move out of a square with two or more cultists, you have to eat an action to get rid of a cultist. So that's two actions, three actions to move, a fourth action to move. Now, here's the thing. I could gamble. No, I couldn't. I'm out of actions. Never mind. I'm on a bus station, so she could discard a king's port to go straight here real quick. But that she would have to have an action for that, and I'm out of actions, so that doesn't apply. Okay, an Arkham card, don't care. King's port. So now this is bus fare. So she can now... First of all, she needs to discard down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six cards. She gets to keep one more card. I don't really care. Maybe the purple one, because that's where the Shogoth is. Seems like, I don't know, in case I need to get there real quick, fast, whatever. Okay, so that was drawing, and now we... No, wait. Yes, that was drawing, and now I summon. So, hospital and market. Hospital. See, cultists never have to roll sanity dies when they go onto Shogoth's bases. Doesn't seem quite fair to me. I guess they're already kind of out of touch with reality, though. Alright, that's not bad. I feel pretty well set up. I mean, next round, we're gonna end the game, so... Uh, yeah, feel really good about it. In fact, uh, could I just do that now? I mean, is there any objection to doing that? I guess not. So this is round, this is the next round. So for the occultist's first action. Oh, wait. Remove one cultist. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's still, okay, so perfect. So, action one, get rid of a cultist. Action two, move. Actually, she doesn't have to do that. Action two, discard a Kingsport card to take a bus straight to the gateway. And then action three, spend all the Kingsport cards to seal the gate. And we have and then remove a cultist from each location in this town. And we've won the game. I mean, we've kind of won the game. Remember, way back in round two, there was a situation where I had summoned a Shogoth, and on the same summoning card that summoned the thing, it was a Shogoth move, and so he moved to the portal. And then at the end of the turn... When I drew cards, he killed, he, he, he moved again, so that, that would have triggered the end game. So technically, I've lost this game once, but I've also won in an alternate reality. So, I don't know, if you've never played the game, um, as you can see, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's actually quite difficult. I'll probably play again with a different set of players, uh, of characters, just just 
to show how the different dynamics of their little special powers play out. I might do, like, I don't know, the reporter and the driver next, or maybe a reporter and a detective, I don't know, something like that. Um, you've, you've seen me lose this game by round two, and you've also seen me win. So it's, it, is, it, it can be very difficult, um, but it's a lot of fun. So, and especially if, if situational things happen where you can kind of ignore something and just kind of say, okay, well, that's a little bit harsh for right now. I'm, I'm, I won't have that happen. Then you can continue playing through even a, a temporary, if you will, lose condition or just start over again. So there you go. That's uh, Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. Thanks for watching.